May I have your attention, please? Welcome to today's event. Please remember to turn off cell phones or set them to vibrate. And please find your seat. The event will begin shortly. Good afternoon and welcome to the Penny W. Stamp School of Art and Design Commencement Celebration. Please welcome the graduates of the Class of 2023.
Please draw your attention to the screens for the beginning of today's event. Please welcome to the stage the Assistant Dean for Admissions and Student Services at the Penny W. Stamps School of Art and Design, Veronica Falandino. Good afternoon. I'm Veronica Falandino, and I am thrilled to welcome you all to the Penny W. Stamps 2023 Commencement Celebration. I'd like to begin our event today by sharing that the Stamp School affirms the existence of diverse and intersectional identities, including age, culture, disability, ethnicity, gender identity and expression, language, nationality, race, religion, sexual orientation, size, socioeconomic status, among others. The Stamp School celebrates our community members' varied identities and creative practices. We are proud to be located in the beautiful state of Michigan, where we are grazed by 20% of the planet's fresh water in our Great Lakes. The University of Michigan exists among the hardwood forests on the banks of the Huron River. Located on the traditional territory of the Ashinaabe, Wyandotte, Seneca, Delaware, Shawnee, Miami, Sauk, Fox, and others. In 1817, the Badawatomi, Odawa, and Ojibwe nations made the largest single land transfer to the university, land granted through Article 16 of the Treaty at the Foot of the Rapids, with the understanding that their children would be provided with educational opportunities. We honor and gratefully acknowledge the, the native peoples on whose ancestral lands we gather and the diverse and vibrant native communities who make their home here today. Through these words of acknowledgement, their contemporary and ancestral legacies to the land, sovereignty, and their contributions to the university are recognized and reaffirmed. It is now my honor to introduce our platform party for today's celebration, and we'll hear more from them later in the program. Carlos Francisco Jackson, Dean. Yeah. Brad Smith, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. And our keynote speaker, Cecilia Mendez Ortiz. Many members of the STAMPS faculty are joining us here today in support of our new graduates, whom they have taught and mentored at their time at STAMPS. Please stand and be recognized. An event at this scale could not function without the support of our remarkable staff as well. So staff who are helping us here today, if you're in the room, if you can wave to be recognized as well. Thank you for being here. <laughs> 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 
Dean Carlos Francisco Jackson joins us today at his very first Stamps commencement. For the last several months, Dean Jackson has been a steadfast presence at many student presentations and exhibitions. His commitment to their academic success is evident in all of his actions at Stamps. Today, he is here to celebrate each of our graduates and their tremendous achievements. Please welcome Dean Jackson to the podium. Welcome, everyone. Today is a day of transformation. Each of our students is living in the process of change and moving beyond the stamp school into a new chapter in their lives, one that only they can write. The University of Michigan is our nation's most prestigious public research university with the mandate to challenge the present in creating the future and producing new knowledge that betters our world, offering solutions to our community's most pressing challenges. This moment of transformation also shapes your entry into the world as empowered citizens with the foundation to live out this mandate, enacting your foundation in art and design methods to create, to live a creative life of meaning. Many of you began your time here during the pandemic. Then from the pandemic, you emerged from a broad national racial reckoning of 2020. Democratic upheaval in our political system and the ever-growing reality that is climate change. These have been some of the conditions that you've moved through in getting here to this day, graduating from this institution. Through it all is a profound accomplishment. Even more so, your path has been led by following that thing inside your spirit, that idiosyncratic, strange, spiritual feeling inside you that demands you honor your desire to live a creative life. This is one of the biggest challenges, one of the, great, one of the biggest risks with the greatest reward possible, which is building and living a creative life. I'm wondering if right now we might all be able to, all the graduates might be able to, I don't know, give a round of applause to your families that are here today. Your families and your loved ones. I honor all the families here today for supporting your loved one who is graduating today. As supporting an aspiring artist and or designer is one of the greatest acts of love one can express. To understand the need for a designer, an artist, or any creative being to follow their destiny is important. Your steadfast willingness to be there for them matters and is an unsignifiable act of profound love. Likewise, I honor all the graduates here today as forging a path as an artist and designer is one of the most extraordinary acts of self-love one can enact in the world that we share. On a personal note, this has been my first academic year serving as dean of the school Without a doubt, my happiest moments during these last several months have been because of you. Walking down the hallways, seeing your work from the studios, from the classes on the walls, attending the exhibitions, and listening to many of you describe your process has not only inspired me, but it's challenged me. I thank you for sharing your excellent and imaginative work, and also your struggles and your desires to live a creative life with me, and all that you've done to make stamps a meaningful, and vibrant and beautiful community. And now you are ready to leave stamps and lead your life on your own terms. It is my hope that what awaits you is a life that fulfills you in mind, body, and spirit. My aspiration in coming to the University of Michigan and serving in this role was to support the school in becoming the nation's top school of art and design, the singular premier location for art and design education and praxis. And I have tremendous work to do to begin meeting this aspiration. And the only way it'll be possible is with your continued support, feedback, and collaboration. I hope and pray that as new alumni, we can continue building a community where you are a part of what we do at Stamps, advising us, connecting with us, and creating and building an artistic and design-oriented movement 
that can change the world and or build another world altogether. Anything is possible. Me standing before you today is a singular example of that. The dedication of our outstanding faculty in the school, let me just say, take a moment and say, express my profound gratitude to the faculty who I really do feel deserve to be sharing the stage with me and us today. I, am, I have been so moved and challenged by them and I dedicate myself in the years to come to supporting their growth and I hope that they'll continue to embark with me on this journey to make stamps truly what it can be, which is the premier, the vanguard of art and design in this country. So I was, can we give the faculty another round of applause? So again, the dedication of our outstanding faculty in this school, the rigor of the academic and creative curriculum they've created, and their commitment to excellence have been essential to preparing you for a world that awaits your expertise and talent and hard work and commitment and desire. Your teachers are also your future colleagues and community members. And like so many generations before, I know they hold their time here with you on this campus, in these studios, as sacred. Their work as educators is tied to their life commitments to support and encourage the development of a creative life. To all the faculty, again, I am grateful eternally for all you have done and will do in the future to support our students and future alumni. On Thursday night, I had an opportunity to have dinner with Cecilia Mendez Ortiz, Ceci, our Stamps alum and commencement speaker, her wife Chandra, and my colleague Jill Verdeer. We were talking about the way art in our formation as artists and community members was connected to our commitment to build healthier and more just communities. We also talked about climate change and how it is one of the most pressing priorities the next generation will need to confront. We also discussed the ways in which Michigan is and will continue to be in the future a climate refuge state and the importance of preparing for the opportunities and challenges that this presents. I shared that I hoped and would be working to ensure that racial justice is at the center of what we do moving forward and the criticality of the arts to both of these imperatives. To all of this, Ceci shared, art saves lives. It was then that I realized this, indeed, should be one of our mantras moving forward. Art saved my life. It was the way in which my spirit was affirmed, in which representation was created, it has been the most meaningful and powerful method of affirming life. I would amend this perhaps to say art saves lives. Design ensures a life is lived. I look out to all of you today and know that you will be the ones to save the planet, that you'll save lives, and that art and design will be your methods. By embarking on this journey, you made a commitment to honor yourselves as a creative being, and I know you'll be part of transforming our society into a more equitable and just space where everyone can create a life of meaning with health and sustainability embedded within their spirits and their bodies and with their relations within a community. On behalf of the faculty and staff, we are incredibly proud of each of you for all you accomplished and the promise of what, we'll, of what you will do and what you will become. Your potential is limitless. I'm grateful to you. Thank you and go blue. Today, we welcome back to Ann Arbor, one of our very own MFA graduates, Cecilia Mendez Ortiz. Cecilia is the executive director of the Center for Art and Community Partnerships at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design and co-director of the Radical Imagination for Racial Justice regranting program in Boston. Today, she returns to share a bit of her journey. We are so appreciative of her steadfast commitment to stamps. I know we will all benefit today in hearing her story and her advice for our graduates. It is my distinct honor to welcome Cecilia Mendez Ortiz to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, and gracias, Veronica, for your introduction. To Dean Jackson, 
Dean Smith and Falandino, Regent Beam, who is here today, the incredible faculty and the staff of Stamps, to all of you graduates. And of course, all of your friends and families, both born into and chosen. I so appreciate the invitation to share this extraordinary occasion with you today. And what a marvelous day. First and foremost, felicidades and happy commencement here at Stamp School of Art and Design to all of you. Can you give yourselves a round of applause? <laughs> I want to take a moment to thank my U of M and School of Art and Design teachers and friends, Marinetta Porter, Al Hinton, Ed West, Takeshi Takahara, Sherry Smith, Jim Cogswell, Stephanie Rowden, Heidi Kumau, and Thylias Moss, and to my mentor, collaborator, and dear friend, Janie Paul. And thank you also to my beloved familia, my wife, Chandra, parents, Yolanda and Moises, and brother, Rick, and I also want to call into our collective space all of those who have come before us, our ancestors. No matter how long ago or how recently transitioned, there is so much to revel in, and we're feeling you. Today I want to share with you a few love stories. Let's call them Wonder, Wander, Love. Maravillar, Deambular, Amar. Wonder. This story starts with a question in the spirit of wonder. How many of you graduating today are wondering what's next? Is anyone wondering? Okay, I see some nods, some laughter, some hands. I think we're all wondering in ways both cosmic and practical and everything in between. So please consider these questions and consider them in your bodies. How does it feel? What does this wonder do for you? Does it fill you with joy and hope and excitement? Does it give you a little anxiety? Maybe a little both and? Or maybe you're awestruck at this incredible moment of life, this beginning of your next chapters. Whether your wonder feels like a jubilant mystery, a relief to be welcoming a new journey, or if your wonder feels like an ogre of unknowing that is uncomfortable or scary, I hope that you fully and unabashedly embrace this state of being. If you think you know exactly what you're doing or where you're going next, you have a job lined up, or maybe you're moving or staying here, chances are at some point in your life, you won't know. And if you don't know what's coming next, that is so okay. More than okay, in fact. Because all of your training, your skills, your skilling up as digital media artists, as painters, as builders and community activists have led you here to these moments of tremendous possibility. When I came to Stamps, then it was called simply the School of Art and Design for my MFA 23 years ago. All I knew was that I wanted to immerse myself in a studio practice. In the year and a half before arriving in Ann Arbor from Massachusetts, I'd taken my life savings, it wasn't much, and bought a one-way ticket to Barcelona, Spain. I met my friend Gabriela there for a friend's wedding, and when we got back to our room in the hostel, we pulled out a large paper map of Europe and asked each other, Pa donde vamos? Where are we going? Gabi and I traveled through Spain, France, the Czech Republic, and Italy. Once we got to Greece, we decided to go our separate ways. She wanted to return north, and I wanted to go to Crete, the largest of the Greek islands, because a Greek icon painter told me that Crete is where I should go if I really wanted to see icons. You see, I had fallen in love with the Greek Orthodox icon paintings and the culture of worship and community that I had been learning about. On Crete, I met a woman named Patu, and in one another we found what we needed. She was wanting for a travel companion by bicycle to see the island, and I longed for a way to reach the monasteries, which were in the most magnificent and hard to get to places, especially since the tourist season had wound down. Three weeks later, we were in the capital city of Iraklion, about 65 miles from the fishing village of Hanya, where we began our journey. I walked out of our hostel to meet Patu at our bikes one bright, brilliant morning, excited at what the day might bring, where we were going, when she told me that this whole experience had made her realize that she really needed to return home to France to be with her family, and that she had bought a ticket and would be heading to the ferry back to Athens that afternoon. I took a deep breath, 
like the ones I took before here. I asked to borrow her map, her bike pump, and her patch kit, and with that we went our separate ways. I was terrified, excited, nervous, thrilled. I was a ball of energy and reservation and everything in between. The journey I started on my own that afternoon led me to biking across Crete for the next two months, meeting amazing people along the way and finding community with so-called strangers. I found shelter and nourishment at a monastery and was welcomed into the homes of kind and generous people I met throughout my travels. When the rains came, I made my way back to the room for rent in Hanya, where my Cretan travels had started. And there I began to draw and paint, incorporating the remnants of tools and castaway pieces of metal and other things I found along my journey. You see, when you bicycle, you go slow enough to stop, observe, and listen a lot. I lived slowly, deliciously. I practiced my Greek, I met other artists, and I kept making. Within another couple months, I realized I had enough work for a portfolio. I eventually made my way home to Massachusetts, returned to museum education work, and applied to grad schools, and was accepted to U of M School of Art and Design. I came to Ann Arbor in the summer of 2000 to begin my next chapter. Besides knowing that I was going to that wedding in Barcelona nearly two years before, I did not know where else I was headed or where I'd land. This not knowing was such a gift, a privilege for sure, and a gift. And when I returned home, I spoke with Patu, my friend who I'd biked with. I was talking about things looking and being and feeling the same as when I had left. And she offered me four words, keep your traveling eyes. To this day, her gift, keep your traveling eyes, continues to inspire the ways I gaze on what I think looks familiar, but upon closer looking isn't. Not knowing was such a gift and holding on to the spirit of newness, even as I returned to the familiar, was really, really vital. Wonder, wander, love. Wander, deambular. When I got to what we now call stamps, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do exactly. But the openness of the program, the opportunity to make my way across disciplines was pure delight. I loved that I didn't have to decide. Am I a painter? Am I a printmaker? Might I want to do this or that? I'm imagining that many of you loved that too. We could search for the medium, z, that would best convey our ideas. One evening in the Warren Robins Gallery, I was documenting an exhibition of large scale cut paper pieces affixed to the wall. They were actually five apple cores, larger than life, going after a tomato. I was exploring tools and food as metaphors for the creation of Spanglish. A little bit of English, un poquito de español. And I was documenting with slide film, and this is before smartphones, and to make advantage of the complex setup of lights, I wanted to document a few variations of the installation. So after I made a set of pictures, or exposures, I would move all the pieces of the cut paper installation just slightly, then I go back to the camera, make another set of pictures, and then I moved it again, and more pictures, and then I moved it again, and more pictures. Five hours later, I packed up and headed home. A week later, when I got my slides back, I looked at them in the slide sheet and realized I had made a film. And I know a lot of you know about this because I saw your work last night, and you brought it. Y'all are amazing, amazing. Give yourselves another round of applause for that, please. <laughs> so U of M, this place is where I became an animator. Analog soul that I am, I went to Central Campus to the film department. I showed the chair my slides excitedly and told him, I want to make a movie. And he showed me an example of a stop motion animation some of you know about this very well. That's frame by frame by frame. And he asked, is this what you want to do? And I said, yes. So I made two 16 millimeter films out of my drawings that year. Visual poems about Spanglish incorporating my spoken word as the sound. And after spending all my grant funds, because film is expensive, I switched to digital animation. Still stop motion, still one frame at a time. I share all this to say, I hope you too embrace the not knowing. I hope you revel in the excitement of the wander. 
It's in this wonder that we discover our passions, our curiosities, our devotion, as well as what we don't want, right? To wonder is the journey, to amble down a path, to experiment, to try things on without a prescribed destination can be a beautifully creative and freeing way to live. Part of this wandering is knowing that you are living into the fullness of the creative process that is your life. And all the ways you know and don't know and pause and get stuck, right? We walk away, we return to make and to remake it again and again. Sometimes your path in the studio and in life feels like a scribble. My path was rarely, if has ever been, has rarely if ever been a straight line, and there is gloriousness to the scribble. Some of you may feel deeply comfortable with this as it pertains to your creative practice and as it applies to life. For those who may not, I would propose a reverence to the scribble that life can be, and a reverence for the wonder and the wonder that life deserves. If you register something in your bodies, something unsettling about this idea or the feelings it invokes, try to overlay your respect and your compassion of the creative process, your creative practice, creative process onto the journey of your life, your practice of living. Overlay the value of pause, the bounty that comes with not knowing what the next print should be or the next frame or maybe having too many ideas for the next diagram, the next performance. Reflect, take stock, sit, think, feel, listen. Keeping activated in this process may still feel like a scribble, and this is movement. Movement toward revelation, more questions, or at least the next moment of your journey. For those of you who are destination driven, I truly believe you will achieve whatever notion of success you have planned. And let's also remind ourselves, it may not turn out the way you thought, and that's okay too. Getting to a destination and saying, huh, is this it? <laughs> or, hmm, I actually wanted to go somewhere else, is more than okay. Go there, keep wondering, keep wandering, keep journeying, love it, love all of it. Love the moments of discovery and love the moments of struggle. They need love too, right? Wonder, wander, love. Love, amar. I'm gonna take a seat. Speaking of love, it's also here at Stamps that my love of working with elementary age young people and college students together flourished through a class called Detroit Connections. It's heartening to see there are so many opportunities here at Stamps for justice-oriented community engagement. Detroit Connections was only in its second year as I was beginning my MFA program. My dear friend and collaborator, Professor Emeritus Janie Paul, and I reveled in our joy of art, children, and the creative process. With students, we expanded our worldviews, reading critical texts, and made space in the classroom for our myriad identities and lived experiences. We loved being in and with community across generations in the schools, Greenfield Elementary in North Central and Harms Elementary in Mexican Town in Detroit. And the art, the incredible Alebrijes, a Mexican paper mache art form of fantastical creatures, the murals and group paintings and books we made, all while incorporating math concepts. I deeply appreciated the love and care that Janie, you showed me, as she welcomed me into a process where I felt very much a collaborator and a colleague. I had much to learn, and I had a lot to contribute to. This time with Detroit Connections was a profound part of my journey to where and what and how I am today. I can only imagine what seeds have flourished or been planted here at Stamps within you? What have you planted in others? Love. Now I am the executive director of the Center for Art and Community Partnerships, known as CACP at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston. In CACP, I work with a team of phenomenal humans, and we partner with people and communities both within and beyond MassArt to radically expand access to transformative creative experiences. 
Like many of you here at Stamps, in CACP we activate the arts and design as pathways to personal, community, and societal transformation. And goodness knows there is much to transform. I could share so much more with you about the what of what we do, but even more importantly is our how. It's simple and deep at the same time. We lead with love. When I speak of love, I'm not talking about romantic love, although that's very nice. I mean another rich, complex experience of love, a love ethic rooted in creating cultures of care. You see, regardless of whatever project or course or experience we might be co-creating, grounding all of it are our relationships. Being in caring relationship with our partners and ourselves and our place is core to everything we do and how we do it. How do we manifest this love in practice? Details matter from the most seemingly small. In CACP, we gather in circles so we can see and be seen. We break bread so we can nourish ourselves. We value time unscripted, unfilled. We think deeply about who is present, who is not, and who needs to be. We listen so we can really hear, especially when it is hard. We share our cultures so that we may be known, and we act because actions build trust. Seems basic, right? Well, how many of us have been in spaces where we didn't feel seen, heard, or welcome? Where we felt we couldn't bring our full selves? We take and make the time to craft experiences that allow for everyone in a space to feel that they belong. It's the consistency of tending to these seemingly small details that create a culture of care and love in action. Many of you have likely heard what the great African-American author and activist Maya Angelou has said, and I quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Wonder, wander, love. Love is multifaceted and courageous. It is process and people-oriented. Love is critiquing and dismantling systems that do not serve our humanity. And love is proactively building the world we want to live in. Love is being a good neighbor. Love is knowing that those of us who work in institutions are not the solvers of community problems. And love, as the brilliant black author and educator Bell Hooks would call it, is a deeply social experience. She says we honor a love ethic by, quote, embracing a global vision wherein we see our lives and our fate as ultimately connected to those of everyone else on the planet. We all have the ability to live and lead in love, and we need it now more than ever. Let's remember that being loving and love forward, especially in the face of hard, requires fierce commitment and continual renewal. And this culture of love is available. It can be created, animated anywhere, an office, online. I know a lot of you know this. So much of your work last night, is, in, this year, is about this, in your time here, in a relationship between colleagues, between a school and a community, among peers, among so-called strangers. And these are not one-way streets. These are multi-radiant pathways stretching as far as we are willing to see. I think the hardest love sometimes is the love we need to give ourselves. As artists and designers, we're really good at being our own worst critics. Remember, we've all been trained to critique and not always in the most loving ways. I imagine there's at least a few of us here today who know what it is to have negativity on your shoulder, in cahoots with imposter, residing a bit too close for comfort near your hearts. Love, amar. One day, years ago, I was questioning, doubting myself, hardcore, in a particularly intense wandering period about, should I apply to this artist residency that I'd been rejected from a couple of times before? What was the point? Should I even bother? But I really wanted it. The application fee was $30, but I had it. I was going back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? My dad, Moises Mendes, said something that I call upon often to this day. He said, whatever you do, don't reject yourself. He was so right. You see, the world will reject you. It will reject all of us at different times for different reasons that make or don't make sense to us. 
Sometimes it'll be for reasons deeply unjust and unfair. And other times rejection might actually be for reasons that are completely reasonable. We may not always know the difference. The point is, just as my dad said, let someone else reject you. Just don't reject yourself, right? This wisdom has marinated in meaning for me over time. It goes far beyond moments of wondering how I might proceed in a certain uh, situation or pondering a decision to be made. Not rejecting yourself and its companion, embracing yourself in your fullness as you are, your dreams, your motivations, your goals, your ideals, even when others do not, is also about loving and believing in your passions, firm in the knowledge that you have built skills and capacities here and in your lives to move in your purpose on this planet. As you embark on this next beginning, of course, you have so much to learn. We all do, all the time. But with respect to where you are right now, trust fully in the ways that you are, however much in process that may be. You'll continue to scribble and evolve as humans in the world, and y'all deserve every opportunity to make manifest your collective dreams. My hope for you, love yourselves and your communities with the knowledge, skills, and experiences that you've built, struggled for, and learned from. We all know you will continue to screen fabulous films, design incredible products, learn and teach in classrooms, and the list goes on and on. You know you will have opportunities to be in community, you already are, and to create community in as many ways as you can imagine. Embrace your agency to build the world you want to inhabit, and in collaboration, you can shape your present and your futures. After all, this is what we as makers do, isn't it? We animate ourselves, our communities, in love for all of us, for our planet, for justice and joy. So to all of you graduates, I hope for you with all my heart, de todo corazón, that you continue to move forward in wonder, in wonder, and in love. As long as you have your how, your what will always come. Let your how be your compass, and this way, your journey will always be your destination. Felicidades, congratulations. Cecilia, you. thank you so much. It's a, a marvelous. Um, you've expanded our vision, our imagination. Uh, you've touched our heart and our soul. Thank you so much. My name is Brad Smith, and as the Associate Dean for Academic Programs, it is my privilege to recognize this year's recipients of the MFA and the MDES degrees. These students, have inspired me on a personal level. This life milestone that we're celebrating here today has unfolded, has been said before, on an, uh, with a historic context or content. And although there might have been many struggles along the way, and we witnessed some of those and as you squirmed and we squirmed together, um, I also witnessed that these students generated and found time and place to create true joy and meaning in the work that they do. And I wanna thank them for doing that and doing it in a way that benefited all of us, not just your, your peers and cohort. Thank you for doing so. For the MFA program, and now we get to the business of uh, one of the main reasons we're here, to recognize those who are getting their degrees. The MFA program. This year's MFA graduates participated in dynamic creative work and research that culminated in their thesis exhibition, which was titled, Seven for a secret never to be told. I think we perhaps saw glimpses of that, those secrets in your work. Here are the 2023 MFA graduates by name. Oksana Bryokovetska, Emerson Granillo, Michelle Inojosa, Nicholas Lamarca, where do you go, Nicholas? There he is. Sebastian Yovera, 
Barbara Pearsall, and Peter Stack. Congratulations. Stand up. Turn around. Marvelous work. Congratulations. Leading these, this group of students, I should also say, has been our MFA director, Professor David Chung. And David, would you please stand up? I think I saw you earlier. Thank you, David. The Jean Paul Slusser Award for the MFA thesis project recognizes outstanding creative work as evidenced in the thesis exhibit. The 2023 MFA thesis award goes to all seven of our graduate students. So congratulations to all of you for this marvelous achievement. Uh, they were unaware of this until just now, I, I understand. So Oksana, Emerson, Michelle, Nicholas, Sebastian, Barbara, and Peter, congratulations. Yeah. Nicely done. Now to the MDES program. We're, there they are, good. The MDES degree, is a project-based curriculum that emphasizes deep collaboration with both corporate and nonprofit partners to address what we here at STAMPS call wicked problems. And they do this through hands-on real-world projects. Here are the 2023 MDES graduates. Nikki Fairchild Azevedo, Kayla Guillory, Akila Kosaraju, and Joy Zhang. Please stand up, be recognized. Congratulations. And we love the lit hat. These students have been supported by Professor Nick Tobier as the MDES cohort leader. Nick, please stand up and be recognized also. Thank you, Nick. The Jean Paul Slusser Award for the MDES Thesis Project honors a student, or maybe more, who understood or stands and embraced or embraces the program's goals and we recognize that will be a strong ambassador for our program. And they, they or this person is nominated by the MDES faculty. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> the 2023 recipients of the award are, and we have two, that is Nikki Fairchild Azevedo and Joey Zhang. Congratulations. Please stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. It is a long standing tradition at Stamps, as far back as I can remember, to give students the last word. The rumor is correct. The rumor is correct. So, at this time, I invite the MFA and MDES students, um, those who are receiving these degrees, to queue up at this side by the microphone. John Luther is over there. And um, please, when you come to this microphone over here, share your name and offer us a few parting words. We look forward to them. And hope they won't be your last ones, but that you'll come back years into the future and share additional words with us as well. Please queue up. I'm Nikki Fairchild Azevedo and Jasper Fairchild Savarese. Um, John told me to point the microphone at my chin and have a good time, but we only have 30 seconds. So thank you. Thank you to my family and my friends, my faculty and my advisors, of which there have been many. Thank you all. And a huge thank you to the staff and the healthcare system, all the people behind the scenes, because really without the healthcare, and the administration of all the benefits, neither Jasper nor I would be here today. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Akhila. Um, and as an MDS student, uh, the past two years have been a roller coaster ride. It's been full of experimentation, a lot of uncertainties and risks. And through this time, all the relationships that I've formed and all the people I've met have really kept me grounded and helped me grow. Uh, so I really want to thank all my excellent advisors, my kind, fun, and really smart um, cohort mates, uh, and my family, who's been my biggest cheerleaders, um, supporting me from across the world, and also who've made sure to be in this room today. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Kayla Guillory. Um, there were a lot of moments over the last two years where I did not think that I would be standing here. Most moments over the last two years, I did not think I would be standing here. But it was through the support of my community that I am, and in particular I want to thank my mother Linda, my sister Margot, my partner John, and my friend Marissa for helping me get here. Thank you. And to the University of Michigan, pay grad students a living wage. Hi, everyone. I'm Joey. just want to thank you for being here. Um, and I want to thank my family, my mom, for being so supportive of me. Um, my partner, Sam, for listening to me talk about my thesis all the time. <laughs> um, my friends and family, and Akilah and Caleb, keep me grounded. I don't think anybody else could understand this experience other than you guys, um, and my wonderful uh, advisors as well who are always inspiring me um, and teaching me how to be direct and bold. Thank you. Hi, my name is Peter Matthew Stack. I'm one of the MFA grads. Uh, several of us decided not to buy the costume. Um, <laughs> my name is Peter Matthew Stack, um, and it took me a while to find value at the University of Michigan. I didn't find it in the plethora of fancy new buildings. I did not find it in the football coliseum. And I certainly didn't find it in the vast hordes of wealth that the university has accumulated. Where I did find value was in the people and the relationships I made along the way. I found it in the late night and early morning studio sessions with my cohort. I found it in the moments of learning and critique with my students. And I found it in the advisors, teachers, and administrators who took the time to push me towards growth beyond anything I could have accomplished by myself. So thank you to the people, because you are what brings value to the University of Michigan. Hello, dear STEMS community. My name is Oksana Brychowiecka. I'm also a graduate student. And today I want to thank you, dear professors, wonderful teachers, uh, my great classmates, um, also some students um, that I had privilege to teach. Some, some of you are here also in the ceremony. And to you beautiful people, <laughs> and to all staff and all people I've met here. Um, my experience here was unique and um, challenging. Uh, while going through the war in my country, Ukraine. So without your support, um, I don't know what I would do um, in such moments. You gave me care, you gave me encouragement, empowerment to keep working, keep making art, and also to find the, not only my voice, but voice of Ukrainians through my artwork. And it was really great. Thank you all, and I love you all. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emerson Grani Urtarte, um, and I just want to thank everyone in my comunidad, y mi familia, and everyone for supportive for the last two years. It's been a wonderful joyride, um, and definitely moments I will always remember. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michelle um, Inahosa, and I want to thank my partner for coming here with me. Um, always making sure that I eat and for loving me unconditionally. Thank you to my parents who are here for supporting my choice to be an artist and for graciously storing all of my art at their house. 
and I'd also like to thank my family in heaven and on earth for loving me and my um, idiosyncrasies. And finally, I want to thank my friends in the Stamps community, especially my advisors and my cohort, um, for your advice, your listening ear, and your lessons. And I also want to shout out all of my students here today. Your work in the show at the place was amazing, and I just, it was so beautiful to see everything come together. You're wonderful. My name is Nicholas Lamarca, and I'm another MFA graduate. First, I want to thank my friends and family, particularly my mother, who is here today, finally. Um, <laughs> I want to thank them for their unwavering support um, as my journey as a graduate, and uh, their loving encouragement have been, honestly, the foundation of my success. And um, my time here has been filled with incredible experiences, particularly with my committee, who are Faran and Nick, and Colin, who isn't here, but don't worry. And um, I really just want to thank all of you for being here. And I really had a great time teaching uh, this uh, one, one of my two years here. So uh, thank you, everyone. Hi, my name is Sebastian Llovera. Throughout our artistic journeys during this program, we have pushed push ourselves beyond limits, face our fears, and discover the power of creative expression. We have learned that art is not just a form of communication, but a means of connection and understanding. As we step into the future, let us never forget the importance of staying true to ourselves and our artistic visions. The world awaits the beauty we will create, the stories we will tell, and the inspiration we will spark. May we continue to challenge, innovate, and paint the world with our unique colors. Our time is now, and the possibilities are endless. Everything I just said was written by ChatGPT. When a nice kid, <laughs> when a nice kid to create a commencement speech for today. I had no personal input for such results. Gracias. <laughs> oh, can we get one last round of applause for our graduate students? I have the honor of recognizing this year's undergraduate members of the Stamps Class of 2023, um, who are award recipients. So these students have shown their creative problem solving, ingenuity, and integrity through their time at Stamps. Their creative practice and commitment to the greater good serve as an inspiration to all of us. Before we call our graduates to the stage, I'd like to recognize those who've achieved special recognition from the Stamp School in a variety of ways. These awards celebrate excellent academic performance, service, international experiences, research, creativity, and the hard work that goes into earning a degree from the University of Michigan. When I call your name, please stand or wave to be celebrated. Following your 30 seconds on the mic during the recognition of graduates, please stop at the awards table to pick up your certificate. Just there. Okay. I'd like to start by recognizing our summa cum laude graduates. These students' performance has been so excellent that their cumulative grade point average places them in the top 3% of the graduating class. Students, as I call your name, please stand if you'd like and remain standing until all names have been called. Family and friends, let's hold our applause until all four names have been announced. Our summa cum laude graduates are Sky Kristoff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Rain Lesnow, Kate, Caitlin Martins, and Samuel Turner. The Candy R. Way Prize for International Study is funded in memory of art and design student Candy Way. The prize is awarded through a juried competition recognizing seniors who best demonstrate how their international study experience changed or influenced their work as an artist or designer. The winners of the 2023 Candy R. Way Prize for International Studies in Art and Design are Anders London, Olivia Ortiz, Christina Rogers and Emily Temel 
Tim Lewitz. It is now my pleasure to recognize our Integrative Project and BA Capstone Award recipients. Each year, our BFA students enroll in the culminating Integrative Project, a two-semester, 12-credit independent studio. At the end of each year, faculty choose two students from each class section to receive special recognition for the superior quality of their projects, and really, to reiterate, all outstanding, amazing to see your work at the exhibition. This award is particularly meaningful because the faculty know each step of the student's project. The projects are judged in the entirety of their process, developing and researching the concept, the material testing and prototyping, the making and remaking and remaking, critique and revising, finishing and installation. These ambitious projects do not come to fruition without dedicated leadership, organization, and adept wrangling of persons and details. For her service as this year's Integrative Project Course Coordinator, please join me in recognizing Shujin Hiraga. There are 10 IP award recipients. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. The 2023 Integrative Project Awards go to Paulina Braverman, Natalie Boltman, <laughs> Olivia Joy Cosalanti, Gabriel Salvatore Consiglio, Madison Grossvener, Taylor Hennegar, Casey Rowe, Christina Rogers, Elle Schwitterson, and Samuel Turner. pursuing a Bachelor of Arts degree have the opportunity to engage in a year-long independent project, aptly titled the BA Senior Studio. Ably leading this course and the students in it was Jonathan Rajewski. Jonathan? <laughs> the Senior Studio Award recognizes one student who is deemed to have the best BA project in their graduating class. The 2023 Senior Studio Award goes to Rain Lesnow. The Integrative Project Writing Thesis Award recognizes the superior quality of the written portion of a student's IP thesis, judged on the overall excellence of the written work, both in the research and in the composition. Students are nominated by the IP faculty and the final winner confirmed by the coordinator of the Stamps Writing Program, Jennifer Metzger. Jennifer? The winner of the Stamps IP Written Thesis Award is Andrea Zimkowski. Okay, let's now move on to the recognition of the Gorman Award recipient. Deborah and Steve Gorman have given generously to the school in support of our undergraduate programs. The Gorman Award is given to a graduating senior who has excelled in scholarship, service, leadership, and creative work, not only during their senior year, but through the full duration of their undergraduate study here at Stamps. This year's recipient of the Gorman Award is Sky Kristoff. I can't be with us today, but I know he feels that round of applause from where he's at now. Okay, now is the time to announce the recipient of the 2023 Big Idea Award. Yeah, that's right, that's the vibe we're looking for. Okay, 
in memory of alumna Penny W. Stamps and provided with generous support from the Stamps family, friends, and other supporters in the community, the Big Idea Award provides $25,000 to a Stamps senior or a team of Stamps seniors to help launch a major ambitious project after graduation, a project that calls on the student or team to commit their moral and intellectual capital to a big idea. Three finalists are Sky Kristoff, Five Kurtz, and Edward Shimborski. I am thrilled to announce that the 2023 Big Idea Award winner is Five Kurtz. Five's big idea is to share the stories of the LGBTQIA2S plus community. In fact, their senior IP exhibition is a sneak peek at where this big idea is headed. In this video we're about to see shortly, Five describes their big idea and where it's headed next. My big idea is the preservation of rarely heard important stories. Stories of people who often don't get listened to within the greater community of the world, within my community, the LGBTQ community, there's certain stories that get lost or people are too scared to say. I'm trying my best to preserve these stories and bring them to the general audience of the world in a consumable, a fun way, just as authentically as I can. Keep these stories alive that are so often lost. If you are in the community and trying to speak for the community, you're sort of put up against the most powerful people in our country. And this is what's actively being tried to be silenced. They're trying to silence this now, and they have been for a long time. This award means to me that there are people out there who are willing to help. Sometimes there's people who are willing to listen and in fact people willing to jump on board with your stuff and help you and get you to where you need to go and I think what the Big Idea Award is for me it's just proof that someone out there cares and there's someone out there willing to listen to everybody no matter what your idea is or what you're trying to do. There's something out there for you. Please come to the stage so we can congratulate you on this outstanding achievement. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yay. Best wishes as you undertake this ambitious project. <laughs> We're still excited for you. Yeah. Um, we look forward to following. <laughs> we look forward to following your progress and celebrating with you along the way. Now the time has come to recognize and introduce our undergraduate graduating students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Students, you have met the unique challenges of your time with remarkable resilience. You have found ways to share your heart and your craft with us despite the forces that threaten to disconnect us. With your strength, persistence, and deep care, we are ready, and you are ready, to lead us in what lies ahead. You've worked hard and you have made it to this day. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I can't see what's next for each of you. Okay, each student will now say a few brief parting words. We would begin with a student who's not able to join us today, graduating senior Sky Kristoff. It's some of the best people at Stamps. I mean, I've got professors I can call friends. I've got friends that I can call family now. Such a big web of people that were really there, ready to support me when I couldn't be there in person. 
um, and who just inspire me constantly and have even before this and after this and through it all. Um, and just people that I really, really love and I want to keep my life forever. You know who you are. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care of each other. Always again. And now I invite the undergraduate degree recipients to queue up at the microphone. Remember to share your name and offer a few parting words. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all my amazing professors and all my classmates and everybody that has made this the most incredible four years. I love everybody here. Hi, I'm Samantha. I just want to say that I had the most amazing four years and the best education, and I love being a part of Stamps and Go Blue. Hi, I'm Jordan. I apologize for my lack of voice, but um, thank you to my family, my friends, all of my teachers. Um, it's been the best four years getting to do what I love. Go Blue. Hi, I'm Lily. Um, I want to thank Stamps, my family, and friends for the most amazing four years, and I can't wait for what's next. Go Blue. <laughs> Heart's racing. Um, before I begin my 30 seconds, I'd like to collectively recognize our university's graduate students and lecturers and draw attention to the inconceivably horrendous working conditions they're actively protesting. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to show our appreciation for GEO and the LEO strike action. <laughs> On a stamps related note, GSIs at stamps are limited to clocking 7.48 hours a week. If they were allowed to clock two more minutes, they'd qualify for a full tuition waiver. Let that sit in. And until this university ceases to prioritize profits over people, I personally do not recognize its institutional credibility. <sighs> Speaking frankly, um, I should have dropped out after my first day of freshman year um, because I learned the one lesson I know I'll need for the rest of my artistic practice. Uh, this particular lesson from Andy T's 3D Foundations course was worth every penny. Nothing is precious. These words taught me to let go of my idealism. When I heard this phrase, I didn't realize how often I would repeat it to myself during my journey to this podium. Nothing is precious. Between frustrating schedules, unforeseen loss, and tense personal relationships, I would relearn this lesson each year until it finally set in. Finally, I'm sure the collective experience of COVID pushed us all to realize the truth of this phrase, nothing is precious. My aspirations, hopes, and even my dreams changed drastically overnight. The lessons I learned at this university were never the ones I expected. Lessons I'll often spend years on learning. Yet, I wouldn't change a thing. It's an honor to walk today with my fellow class of 2023, whom I have the privilege of joining after a year away. Stay rad. Um, and for all of those who I've met at this university, I have this to say. Even in the face of the fact that nothing is precious, I hope all of your wildest dreams come true. Hello, I'm Andy Zimkowski, and I wanted to come up here to say I want to thank everyone who supported me throughout my creative journey and everyone who encouraged me to be myself, including my family, many faculty, and my fellow students. Um, and a special thanks for Jennifer Metzger, who played a very important role in starting my clown journey, <laughs> and all of my IP instructors, and everyone who encouraged every crazy idea that I have. And if there's one thing I can say, I want to say to um, always remember to have fun and don't take life so seriously. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Sam. Um, I just want to thank mostly my mom and my dad. Um, thank you for being here. I wouldn't be here uh, without your support today. And if I had to say one thing, make whatever you want. You don't need a theme or some big idea that they tell you you need. Make what you think is cool and have fun. Hi, I'm Jamie Adams. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran and a fellow artist. I would like to thank everyone who has helped me to get here today. Without you, Mom, DT, Jesse, Dev, and my girlfriend, Christina, this demon rabbit wouldn't have gotten to where she has. This was years in the making. And now for a request to everyone here. In spite of hardship, in spite of every illogical thought you may have, in the name of those who came before us, in the name of all who scream for a brighter future, I say to you, my graduate of stamps, live, damn it, and move on. <laughs> Belay my last, I mean forge on. <laughs> Hi, my name's Allie Grauman. Um, I'd like to take this moment to thank my mom and dad who supported me for so long, and my twin sister, and my aunt who came from Texas, and a mi familia que vino de Argentina. Gracias por visitarme. Um, and to all the friends I've made along the way, you've made this experience so memorable. Um, and to the faculty and professors I've had who have pushed me these last four years to continue to strive to what I would like to do, things that have never been done before, and to do it despite people questioning you and people doubting your ability to do it. So, yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Yasmin Al Hassan. Um, at first, I thought at some point that I would give up art for good. I wasn't sure what future I would have of art. But being surrounded by a supportive um, community of artists and like-minded people and faculty have made me see a different perspective on my own art and creative process. I've realized that even though I might not do much of um, art as a career in the future, I would still like find some sort of like love and joy in doing it regardless for my own personal gain. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Daniel. I will be graduating here with a medium in 3D modeling, rigging, animation, along with graphic design. As I go to graduate school at Michigan State, I just want to take this time to really thank the professors, faculty, etc., that have held me up to this point. If you know me, you know I'm hard-headed, I don't listen, but I do get my work done, and that's okay. Uh, with that being said, it has definitely been some bumps in the road, but I am proud to have made it this far, so thank you. Hey guys, um, my name is Nehema Kiriyuki. Um, I do graphic design and visual design and all of that jazz. Um, but first I just wanna say thank you to my parents. Thank you for believing in me when I told you four years ago that I wanna go to art school instead of being an engineer or a doctor. Um, thank you for believing me even though you may have been a little skeptical and you were like, okay, what's going on? Um, I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you to my black stampers. Without you guys, I don't know what I would have done. In a school where there's only 4% of us here, I'm happy that I could have found you guys and we could have found community and we inspire each other every single day, so thank you. And to my peers, you guys, we made it. I think it's so great and so courageous that we all decide to pursue creative careers, even though we're in a world who tells us that technical careers and being an engineer and being a doctor is more valuable. I just wanna say I'm so proud of all of you guys for having the courage to pursue a creative career in this world. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Jalea Green and I just want to take a moment to say that I've grown so much in the past four years thanks to coming to Stamps and that's all due to the support of my family. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister for helping me along this creative journey with all the breakdowns and the tears. Um, thank you to my friends, my blampers for being here and creating the community that I really thrived in and thank you to everyone in Go Blue.
Hello, everyone. I'm Oteni Ologundikbe, and I want to start off by thanking my friends, the Black Stampers, as they've all said, or we call this our ourselves the Blampers. Um, I also want to thank my family, um, both near, far, and departed. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't have gotten this far. And I also want to thank the professors who honestly believed me when times were extremely rough, specifically Annika Kupatelli and Deepa Butalia, who have provided me guidance throughout the years I've been here. Thank you. Go Blue. Hello, everyone. My name is Grace Benjamin, and I transferred to STAMPS two years ago. And uh, being a transfer student can be really hard. So I first want to thank my friends that have welcomed me so much into the Michigan community, as well as the faculty that have pushed me and helped me to grow academically and grow as an artist. Um, I also want to thank my siblings. I'm the youngest of seven, so I'm the last one to graduate. Uh, so to my, to my siblings, thank you guys so much for being my best friends and for always supporting me. And also uh, to my parents, thank you guys so much. Uh, for people who don't know, my parents actually came here as refugees from South Sudan. And from the minute I was able to talk, they were always telling me, um, drilling into me that uh, academics are so important and how the value of education. So this one is for you guys. Thanks, guys. Hi, my name is Christina Roberts. I just want to say thank you to my mom, dad, and brother for always believing me and telling me I can do anything I set my mind to. Thank you, guys. Go Blue. Hi, my name is Nadia. I just want to thank my family, my friends, and all my professors for supporting me the past four years. It truly has been the best experience. Hi, everyone. My name is Sierra Snow Iverson, but I'm sure a lot of you know me as Snowy. What I've learned here at my time at Stamps is integral to my development as an artist and an academic. I will carry these experiences with me forever and into my master's degree at the University of Chicago later this year. I, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to add, I was born at U of M Hospital over 22 years ago. So when I received my acceptance letter in 2018, my family liked to say I was finally returning home to become a Wolverine. Lastly, I'd like to thank my friends, family, and my partner, Noah, for attending, as it means the world to me to share this weekend activities with them. I want to especially thank my mom, Sherry, for always pushing me to do better, because when I didn't believe in myself, she always did. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tamara T. Turner, and all I want to say is thank you so much to my papa for supporting me mentally, financially, and um, into um, all the, just to say hi and thank you so much to, to all the people who like made the time to talk to me at Stamps. I'm a transfer student too and it's just like, it's so hard to meet people. Um, so thank you, Sam, Lexi, uh, Snowy. <laughs> and um, to say thank you to all the times that you made me dinner when I was busy working on IP to Alex, my partner in crime. Thank you guys so much. You know, I, I, I want to thank my mom and my dad and my sister who's graduating high school. You know, that's an accomplishment. And um, yeah, you know, um, live your life and live a long, full life and enjoy yourself. You know, I, it's hard to remember those things. So, um, and don't peak today, you know. Peak, peak some other time, not today. <laughs> enjoy yourself, love life, okay? Hi, everybody. My name is Thomas Wu. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for my mom and dad for helping me support and pursue my dreams in being part of the Penny W. Stamps Art and Design student. Um, I also want to thank the faculty, the staff, the professors, advisors, and friends for helping me striving four years of my experience here and driving my ambitions throughout this year. Um, with that being said, I will forever cherish this moment and create my ambition and forever go blue. Hi, I'm Latyla Thomas. I want to say thank you to my family, my aunt, my mom, my dad, my little brother, my donors, my friends, and all of my peers. You've all inspired me and helped me to grow so much more than I possibly could have believed I could. And I had such a wonderful time here and will cherish the memories we've all made. Go Blue. Hi, 
Hi everyone, I'm Emily Tumulowitz, um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to all of the professors that supported me, um, specifically my mentor, Liz Gilmet. Thank you so much for everything, um, if she's here. And a uh, shout out to my parents, um, my dad, Tom, mom, Lila, brother, Matthew, and my partner, Luke, for being here. Go Blue, thank you. Hi, I'm Grace Moringo. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my partner and to my family for being here, my older sister Casey, my mom, and my dad, who made sure to teach me the Wolverine fight song as soon as I could speak. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Congratulations, everyone. I hope you all keep making amazing art as you go. Go Blue. Hi, I'm Liliana. Um, I wanted to thank my family for never hesitating to support me. And um, I'm also a transfer student. It wasn't until I came to Stamps that I discovered my love of oil painting. And I'd like to thank all of those who facilitated it for me. And I will remember it for the rest of my life. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm Melissa Terry. I am so grateful to be here today and I would just like to say that it would not have been possible without my family, particularly my mom and my dad and siblings. Um, I would not be where I am or who I am without them. So thank you and go blue. I'm here today because I've been so blessed to have been grown up in the most amazing family of creatives. To my dad, my biggest encourager and Taubman alum, you would cheer me on when I was just a little girl making endless paintings and comics books. And today you answer at a moment's notice whenever I ask for career advice or crazy and probably impractical ideas. To my mom, from the day I could hold a paintbrush, you told me that I could accomplish anything and be anything I wanted. You believed in me and so I believed in me. To my brothers, you are my creative inspiration and source of laughter every day. To everyone else, I encourage you to shamelessly pursue that young, bright-eyed artist within you before you pursue that nine to five. <laughs> I could not be more thankful of the gift of stamps that God, our true creator, has given us. I could not have done it without you all, my incredible professors and creative peers. Thank you and go blue. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tessa Holtz. Um, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the Fibers Department, and in particular, Annika and Kit. I love you guys. Um, a huge thank you to my family for supporting me through all this, and a huge thank you to all of my friends who are here, wherever, and watching virtually. I see you guys, and I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Hello, um, my name's Emily Holtz, but it's actually a Holtz with an H, and we're not related, but um, she's one. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, uh, she's just one, some of the people I got to met at Stamps and be good roommates. And also, I would like to thank my parents for letting me go to art school and for the panic calls that I, there's a fire in my uh, oven or I texted you at 2 a.m. because of my work schedule. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lila McKinnon, and I would like to give a special thank you to my high school art teacher, Mrs. Hankson, uh, who taught AP art for one student and helped me put <laughs> and who helped me put together the portfolio to apply to art school because I had no idea what I was doing and actually didn't think I was going to go to art school before then. And I'd also like to thank my parents, who are biologists and were more excited for me to go to art school than I was. <laughs> And I'd like to give a special shout out to all of the GSIs and lecturers who really keep this school going. Hi, I'm Mel Cutting. Um, <laughs> that's my family. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to all of the people that have supported me along the way. My friends, like Natalie right here. Um, this last year, I've met so many amazing people, but even starting in high school with my high school teacher who put me, uh, my art teacher who put me on this path, um, to Brian Banks, who helped me uh, like commit to the choice to withdraw in 2019, which I'm so glad I did. But then I'm really glad I came back when I did because I met so many amazing people and you're all beautiful. And yeah, I'm so excited to see where everyone goes in the future. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Boltman. Just want to say thank you to my energetic, amazing family and 
special shout out to Jennifer Metzger, who is the most encouraging and just, ah, just thank you for all your support this year. It's meant so much. And huge shout out to Mel for always encouraging me through this year. Um, just want to say thank you to you guys um, that I've gotten to know this year and become friends with and hang out in the studios. You are some of the most deep, authentic, creative, and just like rich people that like has blessed me so much and just has helped me grow. Um, and I feel like we've really challenged each other in amazing ways. Um, so thank you for that. Um, a quick poem here. It's an Irish blessing that says, May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. My name is Madison Bates, and I would like to thank my mom, dad, and Nana for supporting me throughout college and for encouraging me to transfer into stamps to pursue a dual degree. I would also like to thank my friend Eureka for flying out to watch me graduate. Thank you. Um, I'm Elijah Thompson. I was not even supposed to be here for real. Uh, did not think I was going to be an art student coming into college, but I do want to say thank you to my mother for and everyone around me for real that made me very painfully aware that I can be anything I want and that pipe dreams are not pipe dreams, um, that they're very attainable and very reachable. Um, and thank you for everyone else around me, chiefly of which my father, that impressed on me that uh, you actually got to do the work to make that shit a reality. And you can't just say you can be everything you want. Um, so yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Olivia Colasanti, um, and I just have a little thing to say. So, um, Stamps has taught me to know my true self and to use that towards my practice so that I can find reward, honor, and empowerment in long hours of hard work. I give thanks towards the university and my family for teaching and showing me the true worth of hard work and what those two simple words truly mean. Shall we move forward with independence and passion in our making? Thank you. Hi, my name is Han, and um, I'd like to say thank you to my family. Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. Cảm ơn ba mẹ đã luôn ở bên cạnh con với lại cảm ơn bé ba vì đã always roasting me, checking my clothes, outfit, and everything. I love you guys so much. Um, and thank you to my professor and um, um, instructor and uh, GSI for, um, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, guys, but thank you for sharing the knowledge for all the conversation and um, help me, supporting me um, through my making process. And thank you to all my friends for all the hugs, all the um, walk together, all the waving, and um, I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Zoe Diamond and I just want to say thank you to everyone here. Thank you mom and dad. Um, it has not been an easy journey, but it is over and I just want to say congratulations to everyone. Um, yeah, I in the beginning of IP, uh, I found this artist, uh, Arno Raphael Minikin, and he said, art is risk made visible and I think that really stuck with me this whole year. So, yeah, thank you all. Hi, everyone. My name's Grace Snyder. Um, my experience here has been what it's been because of the people that I've been lucky enough to find. Han, you're going to make me cry. I was not going to do it, and then you started crying. But... <laughs> I really owe my time here to, um, well, first off, like my parents and my family, uh, 
my aunties here who are here today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my friends who have helped me through the most like chaotic times um, when I've been just like going off the rails because I haven't slept and like thank you for making me food and for holding me and for giving me help and oh, God, I've just found so many good collaborators while here and have just felt so much love through um, sitting for long hours in the studio with you all and having conversations that like take up hours that we should be using to do art and all that stuff. But I'm so grateful for all of those little conversations and for being able to like find you guys around the corners of the cubicles even though that room is so stressful to me. <laughs> but thank you to my, to my faculty members um, who have helped me so much. Thank you, um, Cynthia Pachikara, for um, putting me on this path that I'm currently on with light and projection and all this crazy stuff. Um, thank you to Jonathan. Um, thank you to Sophia, my IP uh, mentors. Thank you to Leah, my GSI, who is amazing. Um, yeah, I really owe my time here to you all. I'm so lucky to have been here with you all and love you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sierra. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to both my family and my friends for supporting me throughout all of this um, and through both of my degrees. I know it wasn't easy. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you all. Hi, I'm Elle Sylvester. Um, first off, thank you to my family and friends and then everyone that has supported me along the way. Um, uh, I'm turning 24 next week um, and I have a rhyme for it, 24 and more. <laughs> um, there's more to say, more to learn, more to create. There's more to achieve. Um, there's more beyond this. Um, it's not an end, but another beginning. So good luck. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lee Cohen, and I would just like to thank my amazing family, my brothers, and my two artist parents who have inspired me my entire life, and also to every single person at SAMS who has supported me on my creative journey over the past four years. Thank you, everyone. Hi, my name is Claire Schwartz. Thank you, Stamps, for helping me find more ways to be creative and for allowing me also to explore other interests at the university, not just in the arts. And thank you to my family and friends for always supporting me. Go Blue. Hello, my name is Five Kurtz. And first, I want to thank my friends for this past year listening to me explain the obscure lore of my video game for hours on end. That is a feat of love, and I love you guys, and we won an award. Um, to my family, thank you for always supporting me in my art making, even when I was seven years old drawing bloody, brutal dragon battles. No matter how disturbing or dark it got, you loved it, and you're the reason I pursued it to this day. And to my entire Stamps graduating class, I have a quote from Aristotle that I would like to share, an old Greek philosopher. Art is the most valuable thing to society, not philosophy. So artists, remember to believe in yourself and remember that earth without art is just eh. <laughs> Thank you, go blue. Uh, hello, Stamps community. Uh, it was so nice being surrounded by so many artists and creators the past four years and seeing everyone grow in such a supporting community. Um, there's so many people to thank, including professors like Heidi Kumau. I took all of her animation classes and I'm so grateful for my time with her. Abigail Lau was my GSA professor in IP. She was so helpful. And um, yeah, I wanna shout out all first gen students. It's not easy being first gen at a big university. And um, yeah, go blue, support your GSI and lectures. Thank you. <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Savannah Kellner, and I just wanted to thank my family and my friends for believing in me wholeheartedly and unconditionally because I now believe in myself and my work continuing on. And um, I also want to say that every single one of you has such 
intensely creative minds and you make mo the best art I've ever seen. I think you guys are really amazing and I'm so happy that I got to do art with you guys. So, thank you. Hi, my name is Chloe Roberts. I think it takes a lot of courage to pursue a degree in the arts and I just want to thank so many people that allowed me to be courageous, like my amazing parents, my siblings, all my friends, my family at ULC, and Jennifer Metzger, you know you're an amazing human, so thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Sean Bergen, and uh, I came to college a very, very anxious person, which I still am, but maybe like slightly less. Um, and so I just want to thank everybody who's helped me to come out of my shell, being friends, family, professors, my cat. Um, I've made some awesome things during my time here, and here's to making even more awesome things in the future. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sam McLeod. Um, firstly, I just wanna thank my mom for supporting me um, and wanting to be an artist the whole way through um, and never stop stopping, to lo um, stopping loving me. Um, and then I'd also love to thank Gabby, my best friend. We met freshman year and we had a lot of classes together and she has become the best collaborator, best person to have by my side and she really has helped me through this entire experience. Um, and then I would love to thank my partner, Elliot, for always helping me with creative problem solving and showing me that there is another way to get to the solution. So thank you so much. Go Blue. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Mack. Um, I'd love to express a huge amount of gratitude to my family, my parents for sending another one of your kids to art school. Hopefully that's the right decision. Um, <laughs> Um, and to all the friends I made along the way, um, you guys mean the world to me, especially Sam McLeod. Um, thank you for letting me sit at your table at Bursley Dining Hall freshman year. I wouldn't be here without you, I don't think. I love you. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Kane Hoffman, and I wrote this poem yesterday in a flash, and. I don't know if it'll make any sense, but we're going to read it anyway. This is to all of my wonderful friends. Um, OK. It's odd that it just ends. It's a false ending. Really, we are in a grand hidden birthing, new chapters with familiar rain. The moon follows loyal as a dog. Dear friends, dear, dear, lovely, sparkling, shining homes with feet. Your smiles and laughs are the sweetest I've known. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your existing being. You are colors I've never seen before. Ducks with two colored eyes. Ducks that bark. Even your, even your burps are lovely. I wish I could make us all a big nest. I wish I could mother all of you. There's still time for that. You're magic people. You've helped me see magic again. My biggest, my belief in you is my strongest faith. I'll see you all down the road. I'll have, a, I'll have your bed made, a kettle boiling, and I'll be playing with my feet in the sand. Thank you, love you all. Um, hello, my name is Mitchell Ritz, and I wanted to thank my friends, family, and teachers for supporting me throughout my college experience, especially my parents and little sisters, who are a little sister who is here today. I love you so much. Uh, a special thank you to my ceramics and ritual class and to all the teachers in the ceramics program who have truly helped define my experience at the school. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> I'm Paulina Braverman. Um, thank you, Mom. Um, thank you, Granny. Thank you, Grandpa. And thank you, Scott. Um, hi, my name is Erin Ruark. Uh, there's a lot that I think I could say, but not a lot of time, so I'll just stick to what's important. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has supported me. It means the world, and I couldn't have done it without you. Um, second, I would like to say to my stamps community, while you're all here, um, that 
I think all of the work that you've all done is incredible. Um, and I know it hasn't been easy. It's been a really weird set of circumstances, but even without that, it would have been really hard. Um, so I just want to say, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. Good job. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Shivalika. Um, I'm extremely thankful for my parents, my mom and dad, without whose love and support and unconditional belief in me, I wouldn't have had this experience. And I'm thankful for this experience through which I met the most amazing faculty and peers who have encouraged me, pushed me, and believed in me. And I'm also extremely thankful for how in these last four years I have met people who I love and are now family. And yeah, thank you guys. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm Miles McGee. Uh, I want to start by thanking my family for coming out, wherever you are, and, <laughs> and everyone else who wanted to be here who couldn't make it. I really appreciate it, and I feel your support. Um, I didn't really plan a whole lot to say, so I thought it would be cool to just like thank people who were like especially helpful. Uh, I had a really cool experience being able to be a part of SMTD and Stamps, so I met a lot of really helpful people. So, to Sarah Oliver, Kevin Judge, the whole performing art uh, tech department, uh, Angela Kane, Cynthia Pachikara, um, Alicia Little, Emerson, John Luther, thank you all. You're all like super helpful. Um, I want to send some love and support to my inner arts people. Um, we're a small group, and you, I think you all are really special. And uh, I, you know, I'm just excited about what you guys are going to be able to do the next couple of years. Um, I should also thank Jim Harbaugh. I mean, Michigan football is like really, really on it right now. But um, and thanks for everyone for like convincing me to show up. So thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dina Baydoun, and first of all, I just want to say I feel so proud to stand next to this incredibly talented and hardworking group of people. Um, I'll never forget the unparalleled innovation, passion, and support that lives inside of STAMPS, and I cannot wait to um, do my part to make sure that it continues to live outside of our school as well after graduation. Um, thank you to the entire STAMPS community, my friends, my family, um, I, who supported me on this journey. Uh, I have a big family, but I especially wanted to thank my sister Maya. She also attends the University of Michigan here for the College of Engineering. Um, and I just want to thank her for standing beside me throughout this whole journey and for being the other half of my heart and my brain. So yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Hi, um, I'm Alyssa Munson, and I can't do speeches. So um, just shout out to all of my friends. Um, there's so many of you, more than I've ever had. I'm so grateful. Um, and all of my favorite professors, um, Nora Venturelli, Lee Marconi, um, Andy Poskvic, um, just thank you guys so much for everything. And also a special shout out to uh, the Stamps pre-college program. <laughs> Hi, my name is Oliver Higgins. Um, I want to thank my family, my friends, and my peers who have supported me and who's and without whose support, I wouldn't be standing here today. I also want to thank um, my professors, my lecturers, and my GSIs who guided me through some very interesting times um, and who shaped not only career, my career, but the rest of my life. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Rena. Um, I don't really have anything prepared. I hope you guys are having a nice time. <laughs> I'm having an all right time. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm still kind of worried my professor is going to tell me, like, you, you're not going to graduate. <laughs> but I hope that doesn't happen. Um, thanks, parents. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, hi, I'm Rachel Safier. I want to first say thanks to my mom. Um, she's been hanging my art on her walls since I was in preschool and drawing those like people that all the preschoolers draw and they're just like a big circle with like three fingers that are just lines. Um, and she once told me something I always remember, um, F everyone, do what you want. <laughs> and here I am pursuing my dream even when it didn't always make sense to people. <laughs> so. And um, thanks to my brother, Anton, who reminds me not to take myself too seriously. And to my partner, Nolan, and my best friend, Carolina, whose unconditional love has been the greatest part of college. And also, finally, thanks to all the people at Stamps who have helped me reimagine what it means to be an artist, and especially to the wonderful lecturer, Melanie Manos, who was the first one to encourage me. Uh, you were right, a minor was not enough, so here I am. Okay, thanks, go blue. <laughs> Hi, my name is Claire Furio. Um, I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to pursue both of my passions, art and science, here at STAMPS. Um, I would like to thank my great professors um, for their ongoing support and showing me how these two seemingly different fields can feed and sustain each other. Um, and most importantly, I want to thank my family, my parents, for all of their unconditional love and um, support. Hey, hi, I'm Tessa. Um, I just want to thank my parents, my mom, dad, Cole, Kenna, the rest of my family. Um, yeah, and my professors, um, Ozma, Nora, Heidi, you guys are all great. And uh, to U of M and Stamps as an institution, you guys really need to get your shit together. <laughs> I'm Sophia Schwartz. Um, there was a time when school became too much for me and I dropped out seven credits before graduating. And now I'm proud to say that I've come back and I've done it on my own timeline. So thank you to my family and my friends for supporting me. Thank you to my teachers for keeping it fun and interesting. And thank you to my advisor, Romy, and my past advisor, Joanne, for um, helping me figure out how to get here on my own terms. Um, and lastly, I was really excited, I hoping to get one of the blue and pink cords that I think Stamps graduates used to get. So if anyone knows how I can get one of those, I'd love that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Leslie Wong. Firstly, I want to thank my parents for their emotional support and, of course, financial support. I want to say thank you to all of my friends at STEMS. All of you are amazing artists. I also want to give special thanks to professors who supported me, like Professor Andy, Professor James, and Professor Nora. Um, and lastly, I want to say Perospora Adastra. It's also the name of my IP project. It means we can all go through difficulties to the stars and go blue. Hi, um, sorry, I'm Lynn Hayes. Um, I would like to thank my family and friends for being my number one supporters, as well, sorry, as well as my fellow classmates for always pushing me and encouraging me as an artist. You guys will continue to inspire me. I would like to thank my advisor, Romy, and my professors, Nora Venturelli, Ali Toba Hirsch, Megan Holmes, who is in the art history department, history of art department, and the numerous, sorry, <laughs> and the numerous others um, who always supported my ambitions to do more and to grow as an artist and forever student. Also, I would like to shout out um, the stamped admission team and the UMA um, collection exhibitions team who always make work fun for me. Uh, okay. Hello. Um, my name is Gabriel Salvatore Consiglio. Um, <laughs> That is my family. Um, I took a little bit of extra time here, so it feels a bit strange, but also right to be sharing this moment with so many of you who I probably gave tours to four years ago. Um, but I would just like to say thank you to Ray Wetzel and Maggie Stewart for being instrumental in my development as an artist. Um, thank you to Ben Davis, Ines Hidalgo, and Carly and Ken in the woodshop for helping an impossible IP project become possible. Um, thank you to my whole family and to Charles Weissen for being here today. 
Um, and thank you to Robbie Bohr, Hannah Egoli, and so many more, both in this year's and last year's graduating class for your friendship. Perhaps most of all, <laughs> thank you to the single occupancy, gender inclusive bathroom right outside of the woodshop <laughs> for your unending support. Thank you, everybody. Hi, I'm Christina Rogers. Uh, I just want to thank my mom and dad for always being supportive and just helping me become an artist. I want to thank my grandma for teaching me how to draw and teaching me to love art and love nature and love everything around me. Um, and I want to love my amazing friends. They're so incredible, and I would do anything for them. Um, and thank you to all my professors at Stamps that have helped me, and thank you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madison Grobner. I first want to thank my amazing professors, specifically Heidi Kumau, Kate Rubin, Jim Coxwell. You guys are all amazing professors and even more amazing people. I want to thank all of my friends here at Stamps. Christina, I'm looking at you. And <laughs> lastly, I want to thank my amazing family, my dad, Michael Grobner, my mom, Sarah Grobner, my brother, Tracy Grobner, for supporting me every step of the way and letting me use you as subjects in all of my artwork. <laughs> it's been really amazing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Eli. Um, I'd like to first thank everyone who's been in my life, um, for better or for worse, because without you, I would not be who I am today, um, no matter who you are. And also, I, of course, would like to thank my fiance um, and my parents, my family, for supporting me. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Blade Vizinzak. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends and family for supporting me through all these years. And I also wanted to give a shout out to my dogs at home for giving me emotional support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kate Olson, and I just want to thank my family who's here today, my friends that I've made, and the professors I've had throughout the past four years um, for your continued support and encouragement, and go blue. Um, hi, I'm Seamus Mulready. Um, so, uh, some things happened and it was so fun. Um, but now it's over. Um, thank you. <laughs> hi, I'm Lexi Lalonde. I just, I just want to thank my family for being here and all your support. Thank you, Mom and Dad and Nana, and thank you to Shane for all your love. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lena Bianchi. I want to thank my parents for always supporting me and letting me turn their home into my studio, no matter how messy it got. I want to thank my brother for being my best friend. I couldn't have imagined a better place to spend the last four years. Thank you. Hello, my name is Emma Kowalczyk. I would like to start by thanking my family for always supporting me and all of my wild ideas along the way. I would also like to thank all of my peers for always inspiring me and just really helping me to become the artist that I am today. And finally, for all of my professors who constantly pushed me and challenged me and have made me into the person I am today and the artist and designer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rain Lesnau. As a transfer student, it was a huge leap for me going from STEM to art in search of my own definition of success. I want to thank all of my instructors at Stamps, especially Andy T, for giving me the tools to find my voice and become more confident in myself as an artist and a person. I also want to thank Tetsuya Takahashi, whose works continuously inspire me and without whom I would not be standing here, and also to my family who have supported me every step of the way. I'm so grateful to my experience here and excited to create a future of trans joy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anna Getzinger. I would like to start by thanking my family for coming today to support me. Shout out to my sister who traveled very far to be here. Love you, girl. Um, I am beyond thankful for the continuous support of my professors who continue to inspire me this day, to this day. My time at Stamps has been more than just an education, but it has taught me what it means to be an artist. I'm excited to see where I will go and how my art will evolve. Thank you and go blue. Uh, hi, my name is Taylor Schott. 
Um, it took going to art school to learn that I'm a writer, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, I want to thank my parents for their unfailing support. Um, Mom, I hope to be half as kind as you someday. I love you so much. Dad, I love you so much. Um, you mean the world to me. I want to thank um, all the friends that I've met here and people and just people I've had conversations with. You are all so wildly creative. It's insane. Um, and I'm so thankful I got to share four years with all of you. Um, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, my name is Taylor Henniger. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my family for coming all this way here just to watch me do this. Um, and it's taken a lot for me to have built up the confidence to say this, but I truly am proud of all that I've accomplished today. So thank you to me uh, for learning how to love yourself little by little, little by little over the past few years. Um, and I'd also like to thank my grandma, Judy, who passed away last summer for always being my biggest inspiration and supporter of my art. And I'll try my best to make you proud every day. And to those of us who are forging our own paths by pursuing art, be proud and celebrate today, but keep going. Okay, thank you. Go Blue. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Olivia Ortiz. And I just wanted to say thank you to my mother and to everyone that has been with me these past four years and has seen all the different versions of myself. You truly have helped given me help give me the confidence to pursue a career in art and design and for that I'm eternally grateful. Um, thank you, I love you, and go blue. Hi, uh, I'm Sam Turner. Um, thanks mom and dad. Uh, thanks my extended family for everything. Uh, thank you Nora, Jim, Sophia, John, Leah, John, other John. Um, so many like faculty that really helped me like through this and also like the countless friends I made. Uh, Y'all really made it worth it. Uh, so thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Christina Merrill. Um, I just want to say thank you to my family for your unconditional love and support. Uh, special thanks to my friend for coming all the way from Illinois to come see me graduate. And thank you to faculty uh, Brian Banks and Jennifer Metzger. And again, thank you and go blue. Uh, hi, I'm Megan Glasner. Um, I firstly want to thank my sisters for both being creatives before me to soften the blow of me going to art school. Um, and then I want to thank my parents for encouraging me to go to art school um, and then allowing me to choose philosophy as my backup major. Um, and then I also want to thank my roommates who aren't here, but you know, it counts. <laughs> um, Michelle and Elizabeth, because they were my support system and they were my family at Michigan. Um, and then I want to also thank my dogs at home, because uh, they were my support system uh, during the pandemic, and they pretended to listen to me, which is all you need to do. Um, and yeah, I want to thank anyone who I would consider my friends. You know who you are. All of you. Let's say all of you. Um, yeah, so go blue. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miley O'Hara. Um, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank my parents. You're covered by the pillar, but I love you. Um, <laughs> thank you for supporting me, giving the, me the space to be a creative. I am so grateful uh, for my time here at Stamps and to the many faculty who have guided and shaped me into the person I am today. Thank you so much. Um, it is because of your help that I'm able to continue my creative journey um, in art education and film. And to my fellow grads, congratulations and go blue. Hi, I'm Michelle. Um, I wanna thank everyone who's supporting me here today. Granny, thank you for giving me my first sewing lesson so many years ago. Grandpapa, merci beaucoup. Um, <laughs> Dad, thanks for always encouraging me to be an artist. And Mom, thanks for always picking up my calls and talking to me basically every day. Um, and for all my friends and teachers here at Stamps, thank you for continuing to support and inspire me every day. Thank you guys and congrats. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, 
First, I want to say thank you to Annika Cupatelli for being the coolest teacher ever and getting me into fashion. Um, thank you to my mom and dad for the unconditional support, even though I may make it really difficult sometimes. I feel like as I get older, when I hang out with you guys, it feels more like friends than hanging out with my parents. And to Dylan, thank God you came to Michigan and we finally became best friends. I don't know what I'd do here without you. Jake, for being the other cool and fun one in the family and always hanging out with me. <laughs> and Pops for being hilarious and so brutally honest. Grandpa for being the happiest person I've ever met in my life. I feel like you make me a better person. And Oma for teaching me how to crochet because that became my entire project at school and I love you all so much. Hi, um, I'm Ellie Rupp. I'd like to thank uh, Stamps my professors, my friends, and especially my family for always supporting me. Go Blue. Hi, I'm Sophia Galetti. I first want to thank my little sister. She's a sophomore in stamps, and she is not only my model, but my photographer for all my work, and I would never have documentation without her, so thank you. Um, I want to thank all my friends and family here for always supporting me, especially my mom and dad. Uh, thank you for never questioning any of my crazy projects throughout the years, and I'm excited to see what comes next. Go Blue! Hello, my name is Brooke Dotteridge, um, and I just love art so deeply, and I love to learn, and I'm just very grateful to everyone who made that available to me and that I was able to do that. So thank you all. And I love you. <laughs> Hi. Um, if I look at any of you, I will start crying. So <laughs> I'm just going to read. <laughs> Thank you to my parents for their trust in me. <laughs> to, to my grandparents. Um, <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> To my grandparents for filling their home with my art, no matter how weird or spiky it was. <laughs> to the many brilliant and compassionate um, instructors I had. <laughs> um, Jennifer, Amelia, Kathy, Andy, Heidi, Roland, and Sally. <laughs> Thank you all for helping me, um, even when I couldn't get out of bed. Thank you for seeing me. <laughs> Thank you to the GSIs um, for their love and their sacrifice, and to my friends, um, my roommates, my classmates. Thank you for loving me no matter how hard I tried to hide. Sorry for crying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin. Um, I want to say thank you to my parents and my family. Thank you to my friends, especially my best friends who I met on the first day of college ever. Thank you to my teachers, to my painters, to, to everyone I've met here. You guys have really taught me what home means. If you know, you know. Um, yeah, every day I'm really grateful that I was able to go to Stamps and I'm really excited to be graduating Stamps. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon, all. My name is Lauren McHale Mills. I am <laughs> I am graduating with my BFA today um, with no particular concentration, just vibes. Um, <laughs> I would like to take my short time first and thank my God, my mom, Bub, um, my family, <laughs> um, and every person who has loved, taught, corrected and been in community with me um, throughout my collegiate journey. I couldn't have made it without you all. I love you, thank you, and go blue, I guess. Hi there, my name is Kate Esty. Um, I just wanted to start out by saying thank you to my mom for believing in me in fifth grade when I thought I was gonna drop out of school and be nothing. <laughs> Um, just thank you for believing in me. I want to thank my dad for being the most childlike, immature, 
person that inspired my artwork to always be a creative childlike person. Um, and my little siblings also for just being the most inspiring thing um, in my life, just encouraging me. So I wanted to say to all of you guys also, just to think about art as not just going forward, but also going backwards. Like you can remain in childhood and not be afraid of that and also just seek beauty in your art um, going backwards. So, and then lastly, I wanted to thank Maxton, my fiance, for late night milkshakes and <laughs> I guess just hanging out in the studio and helping me with the things that I was uh, having trouble doing, like screwing things in the walls and stuff like that. So, thanks. Hi, my name's Ellie Beam, and I just wanted to thank all of my friends at Stamps and my family here today for supporting me. I love you guys, and I appreciate all of you guys as well. And I want to say thank you to one of my favorite professors, uh, Nick Tobier. Thank you. Hi, I'm Elle. Um, thank you to my given family. Thank you to my chosen family. Thank you to InterArts for being so gay and weird. Um, and y'all should know better than to give me a spotlight. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gabriel Brower. Um, I think the Thank You Marathon is almost done, so congratulations on all of your stamina getting through this. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, two schools and six years later, I didn't think I'd be here. And um, I'm here because of all of my friends, um, the wonderful support, and just continued. Um, I'm just so incredibly grateful to everyone who's uh, supported me along the way. And I just especially want to say thank you to my gaggle of aunts who have come out um, to visit me, <laughs> and my parents, my wonderful girlfriend, Addie, um, Kate and Jim for leading IP. It's been so wonderful to uh, have you as teachers. And of course, thank you to Andy for being a wonderful mentor to me these past four years and for completely transforming my creative practice. I wouldn't be here without any of you. And thank you very much. Hi, I'm Katie Cardwell. Um, I'm not big on speaking much, but I will just like to call out uh, Liz Gilmet and Nick Tobier as two teachers who challenged us and supported us to follow what we actually wanted to do ourselves. Your future students are very lucky to have you. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Pizarczyk. Um, I also want to shout out Liz Gilmet. My freshman year, she looked at me in the eyes after I asked her like 50 questions about an assignment. And she told me, don't ask for permission, it's not punk rock. And I think about that a lot, and it might seem silly, but um, she really encouraged me to step outside of what was comfortable in my design practice. Um, and I wanna thank my other awesome professors, uh, Kate and Jim and Joe, and Sophia, um, everyone who's made an impact on pushing me outside of my comfort zone. Thank you so much, go Blue. Hi everyone, I'm Megan, um, and I just wanted to quickly say, because I know we've been here a really long time, um, I owe everything that I've learned and every way that I've grown to the friends that I've met along the way and the family that have guided me along this path and the instructors that have shaped me into the artist that I've become and I'm still growing into. I want to especially thank my parents for supporting me in this journey no matter what, my amazing friend group who will continue to smile and laugh with me every day, and my amazing partner, partner who has always stayed by my side, and my incredible professors who have inspired me more than I could have ever imagined. Um, and real quick, I'm just wondering if anybody would like to take a be real with me? Yeah? Okay. All right. Do you mind being your picture? Is that all right? Awesome. All right, everybody smile. Oh, it's loading. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel Grabo. Um, thank you to my family for their unconditional love and support. I'm so grateful for how much you all believe in me, and I'm so lucky to have a family as great as you are, and I love you so much. Also, thank you to my best friends that I found through Stamps. Um, you mean the absolute world to me. I have adored every minute we have spent together over the past four years, and I love you all endlessly. Thanks. Um, 
Hi, everyone. My name's Elise. I'll keep this short because there's like two of you left. But um, a really wise person told me you can be as brave as you believe and as strong as you allow. Before I came to Stamps, I don't think I had any of that. And then I met all of you. I met two of my best friends that walked that way, two of my best friends that'll say some silly, funny things, but we'll kick your asses in trivia every Wednesday night. So thank you and go blue. Hi, so my name's Anders. Um, I want to thank my parents for teaching me the rules of life and to Liz Gilmet for teaching me freshman year that if I was going to break the rules, learn to do it the right way. And I want to thank my parents again because I broke a lot of rules and I'm hoping that I did it the right way. Hi everybody, I'm Will. Wow, I mean, what an honor it's been to work amongst a community of artists. I just want to say thank you to my family, you know who you are, for teaching me how to, uh, to work and be inspired as an artist and to move throughout the world as an artist. Um, to the faculty, Jennifer, Kate, Jim, Jesse, thanks for making it all worth it. So, go Blue. Yeah. Hey, my name's Dara Amin. Um, I'd like to thank my family for supporting me and everyone who inspired me along the way. Thank you so much. My name is Amelia Bauer. I'd of course like to thank my family who, despite I think usually not understanding what my art is about, will still tell me it's the best art in the room. Um, I'd like to thank my friends, especially Sam and Lila. Um, totally would have been unbearable to get through the assignments and deadlines without you. Um, and my professors, Bill Burgard, Jennifer Metzger, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. My name is Ren Strawn, and art is not made in a vacuum, it's made in community. So I would love to thank every community that I've been a part of, um, everyone who supported me, family, faculty, Stamps peers, Living Arts Engine, the Intercooperative Council, and um, to my fellow Stamps graduates, wherever you go, whatever you do, do it in community. Thank you. I wanted to leave with new regrets and thank Sam and Bobby who have been with me. They're my sponsors throughout every step of my academic journey and also all of my wonderful instructors. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Michelle Kim and I want to thank my family and my friends for supporting me, especially my parents as they encouraged me to trust in God through everything. Um, there were a lot of rough times in college, and so I wanted to share a Bible verse that has encouraged me a lot, which is Psalm 28, verse 7, and it says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. Thank you. Hello, I'm Molly Crane. I first just wanted to thank all my friends and family who have been with me through this whole journey. And then also, I know Andy T did say that nothing is precious, but for the most part, that's true, yes. But I think some of the memories and some of the people we've met and had relationships and connections with at Stamps here have been so, so precious. So thank you, have a good night. Hi, my name is Emily Chow. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends for the countless memories and endless support. Thank you to the Stamps community for the resources to help me grow as an artist. Uh, to my mom, dad, and sister, thank you for everything you have done for me and letting me choose design. I cannot thank you enough for supporting me at each and every step. I promise to keep making you guys proud of me with my hard work. Thank you, go blue. <laughs> Hi, my name is Katie Zhao. I'm very lucky to have some of the most important people in my life here with me today. I have my mom, one of my brothers, Kevin. I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> um, my best friend, Tia, my boyfriend, Kai. They all went to my high school graduation four years ago, and I'm very thankful that they're still here. Four years later, just dealing with my weirdness. Um, thank you, mom, for pro providing me everything so that I can chase my dreams. Now I can finally and proudly call myself a designer thanks to these people, Y. Newman. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, my name is Zia Zhao. Um, just like all my essays this semester, this speech was written in chat GPT. Um, that's a joke for legal reasons. <laughs> stamps, what does stamps stand for? I have good news. The good news is that these are the days. This is my favorite day. It works on the opposite end of the spectrum. Look at this. This is what you are talking about. Remove images from this category, get the best results, and get the best results. It's not snow, and it's not strong. If you want to use it, click the button. Thank you, and you, do not forget, this is happiness. No happiness, it's hard, it's OK. That's when you start your life. What is life? Um, also, this was put through um, every single language in Google Translate. Shout out to my family. Thank you. Hi, my name is Anna Anderson. Um, thank you so, so much to my family, my friends, and my boyfriend who all supported me throughout my art journey here. And my mom and dad supported me even before this journey began. I especially want to thank my sister, Christina, <laughs> who couldn't be here today because of travel issues, um, but who was always one of my biggest creative inspirations and who never has hesitated to share my love and excitement for the stories I want to create through my art. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Christina, Jay, and my friends at Stamps. I love you all. Poopy scoop. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Alyssa Huang, and um, I want to thank my parents and my brother for always supporting me. Um, thank you to every single professor I've ever had until this point, um, especially Heidi and uh, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are amazing, and thank you for um, letting my confidence grow as an artist and animator. Um, yeah, and all you guys, I wish I could be friends with you all for like actually talk to you guys because I did not in the beginning but uh, yeah y'all are really cool and talented and amazing and go blue hi uh, my name is Maddie um, it's been an exhausting day uh, I just want to say like it feels so uh, bittersweet but beautiful to be a part of this moment to be a part of like collective experiences of grief um, creativity, joy, pride, um, excitement, anticipation. Um, I want to thank my family, my mom, Christine, my sister, Catherine, Libby, and my uncle, Mike, for all being here today with me. Um, and I also uh, just want to say thank you to my dad. Um, he was my original creative muse, and I know he is proud of me, and I miss you, dad, and I love you, and I can't wait to see you again. Um, thank you so much. Bye. All right, we've been here for a long time. Um, but hi, my name is Kate, and I just want to keep this short. So thank you to all of the faculty, my friends, and especially my family that is here today. I don't know where they are. Um, and thank you for supporting me, loving me, and believing in me during the most difficult times. So thank you, and go blue. Hi, uh, my name's Jessica. There's nobody behind me, so best for last, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'd really like to thank my parents, uh, my fiance, my family, my friends, peers, advisors, and stamps faculty. Um, you've made these past four years unforgettable, and I am so grateful for every single one of you. Um, thank you again, and go blue. Let's hear it for our 2023 graduates. My cheeks hurt from trying to keep the smile from flying off of my face. And my heart is bright hearing your words and knowing the journey and the community that they represent. Thank you so much for sharing a piece of yourselves with all of us here today. Thank you also to our friends and families who are here and who want to be here but aren't able to for supporting your students through this journey. And to our special guests and of course to our faculty and staff who are able to be with us here today. I wish all of our graduates the very best in their future endeavors and encourage you to continue to stay engaged with the Stamp School and the University of Michigan. 
Graduates, make sure to stop by our alumni relations table out in the lobby so you can receive a giftie and keep your connection with stamps in the years to come. A quick note, late breaking, um, the elevator that some of you may have come down to join us here today is not working. They're working on fixing it. If you need to use a ramp to head to the parking area, there's one close by, and staff who are wearing the lanyards will assist you in finding that. It's here in the room at the exit that's closest to the parking. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. This almost concludes our formal program, and I invite all of you to linger for refreshments, music, and celebration. To our new graduates, on behalf of all of us at the Stamp School of Art and Design, we once again congratulate you. In the immortal words of our namesake, Penny Stamps, now go out there and break the rules. Make the world a better place for you being here. Create fantastic art. Design products which will change the way we look at the world. Dream, engage, imagine. Live a glorious and fantastic life and do it with courage, grit, and determination. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and forever go blue.